Hey guys, Bryson with Trick Tools here. Today we want to give you a look at the Ellis 1600 bandsaw. Uh, if you're in the market for a nice, uh, small, uh, but high capacity bandsaw that's going to get the job done over and over and over, the Ellis 1600 is definitely the saw you need to take a look at. So, uh, some of the quick features on this saw, uh, it's got a very large cut capacity for its size. Um, but that all kind of varies based on what the type of material you're cutting is, whether it's round, square, uh, flat, that sort of thing. So we'll have those uh, listed in the description on the video. Um, but it has a, uh, a quick clamp feature that you just slide the clamp forward and then push down a little lever and it locks the uh, material in place. Makes it real nice and quick to be able to uh, uh, apply the clamp, remove the clamp, get your material in and out of the saw. Uh, the mitering features on this saw are 45 degrees in both directions. So there's a little handle down here that you loosen up and you can pivot the saw around. And there's a nice gauge on the back side here. You can uh, judge your angle, get exactly where, set where you need to. Uh, but it'll go in both directions, which is really handy. Uh, you don't have to uh, move the material uh, to be able to cut a piece off in two different angles. You can just move the saw head. And then the, with that, the vise can be moved, loosen the little knob under here, and you can slide the vise over to the other side if you're mitering uh, to this direction. So um, makes it real easy for that type of work. Um, there's a chip tray on the bottom here that uh, you know holds and catches a lot of the chips uh, that fall. So it slides out, makes it real easy to catch. This is our, uh, saw that we use here in the shop so um, it's a little scratched up uh, from the work that we do on it so you um, you know these saws really take a beating um, I've seen these saws that look like they've been around for 150 years but they're still going strong because they're just built well real high quality components everything's made of metal uh, so there's no plastic parts or anything like that uh, that wear out quickly over time everything is high quality metal uh, and just built to last and do a job over and over and over so So this saw has a hydraulic down feed and an automatic shutoff. So if you want to start the saw, get it cutting into your material and walk away for a minute because uh, you need to go grab something, you need to do, work on something else for a minute, uh, you can turn it on and uh, set your down feed and it will shut itself off as it gets to the bottom of the cut. Makes it nice if you do walk away, uh, you don't have to worry about the saw running uh, for a couple minutes. It will shut itself off from there. So uh, it is built uh, with a 110 motor. You can get an optional 220 motor on it, um, but really the 110 has got all the power you're going to need uh, there. So um, it is variable speed. So there's a little door on the back here. You can uh, open up uh, that has a couple of different grooves for the V belt here that you can uh, Basically, loosen up the little eye bolt here, pop in the little lever, it loosens the belt, and then put some tension back on the motor, pull the tab out, tighten up that eye bolt, and it locks it in place, keeps tension on your belt. So, so the LS1600 has these nice, easily adjustable blade guides here um, that you can loosen this knob. Slide it back forth, make sure that you're within two inches of your material uh, to keep your blade tension and uh, the stability of the blade where it needs to be. Uh, it has roller bearings here that are readily available. Uh, if they do wear out, you can replace them easily. Um, your belt or your uh, blade tension here is on the front. Turn a little knob here. Uh, blade changes are pretty easy. You've got some doors on the back side uh, that are easily opened uh, to be able to change the blades. And one of the best parts about this saw is that it's made right here in the USA. So um, one of the cool, unique features about the 1600 here are the wheels that are on the back on the base. So if you want to be able to move it around, you just tilt the saw head up, pull out the little lever, and uh, you can roll the saw uh, wherever you need to in your shop uh, or just to be able to move it out of the way to be able to clean underneath of it. So.
So some of the accessories that are available for the 1600 are an optional screw vise uh, that really allows you to put a lot more pressure in your material to hold it in place. Uh, if you're cutting multiple sticks of something at one time, it gives you that extra ability uh, to have more pressure, make sure your material is held in there nice and solid. So there's an air cooling system available for it, and then there's a couple of different styles of material support stands, uh, depending on what you're cutting and how much room you need. Uh, you can choose what works best for the material you're cutting there. There is a round tube clamp uh, that goes on this quick vise here. Gives you the ability to um, hold round tubing in a little bit better. Uh, once you get this in place on the front of the vise here, uh, once you clamp your tubing in here, there's the knob here that you can tighten, which uh, puts a little more down pressure uh, on the tubing, keeping it nice and solid, tight in the saw when you're cutting. Uh, and then there's an optional uh, vertical table for this 1600. So how that works is you tilt the saw head back and then unhook the tension springs here on the back of the saw. And then you'll take out the quick release pin from the hydraulic down feed, tilt the saw head back. And then from there, you have the little clamp in vertical table that you slide over the blade. And then you want to center up the vise. Get that squared up, tighten your knob down, and then clamp that table in place. And then this sits on the blade guide on the back side to keep that nice and steady. And then there is a guard that you bolt on as well that is going to keep you protected from an open blade. So there's a hole in this upper blade guide. Slide that in there, tighten up the wing nut, and then you can adjust this down where you need it to be able to use it as a vertical saw. So makes it quick and easy to be able to have a little bit of vertical capabilities uh, in this saw um, and gives you a little bit extra um, things that you can use one tool for. So. We're going to do some demonstrations on some cutting now and I'll show you guys how this thing works.
For more information on the LS 1600 bandsaw or any other saws in the LS lineup, give us a call, visit our website at tricktools.com, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on high performance tools for the fabricator.